Welcome friends to my online tutorial. My name is Pranav Shukla and uh, our today's topic is a grammar topic from English language, tenses and voices. Right now we are in the fourth part of the same topic, tenses and voices. In the other three parts that we already gone through, we have discussed the concept of tense and voice, finite verbs and uh, structure of all the simple tenses and now in this video we are going to discuss the structure usage and active and passive voice of the rest of the tenses starting with continuous tense friends first of all continuous present tense so again a very interesting tense if this is a situation where the action is going on at the present time in front of the speaker or maybe action is going on when the speaker is speaking so it is called as continuous action in the present so this kind of action is shown using simple uh, using continuous present tense so apart from this usage sometimes even the future actions the actions which is definitely going to be happen in the future it is quite certain so it's better to show using continuous present tense rather than future tense for example uh, if you are to visit my home so if i am to visit your home so i would say i will visit your house today in the evening or tomorrow but if I am sure to come I want to bring some surety in the same situation so I better say I am going to visit your house I am going to visit your house or I am visiting your house tomorrow suppose you are planning to go to a movie and I am to come to your house you will say don't come today I will go to a movie तो मैं मूवी देखने जाने वाला हूँ तो अभी जाने वाले हो तो श्योर नहीं है जाओगे नहीं भी जाओगे पर अगर टिकट ले लिया है तो यू आर श्योर टू गो सो यू वुड बेटर से डोंट कम टू माई हाउस टूडे आई नॉट बी अवेलेबल आई वो सी ए मूवी और आई एम वॉचिंग ए मूवी टूडे इवनिंग मैं आज मूवी देख रहा हूँ या मूवी देखने जा रहा हूँ सो कंटिन्यूस प्रेजेंटेंस इज ऑल्सो यूज to show the future time reference apart from this usage if an action may not be going on right now in the time of speaking but might be temporarily going on in the present days for example if you are to come to my house and say i'll visit your house at 5 o'clock in the evening so i would say don't come but nowadays nowadays 5 to 6 I'm learning motor driving. You might not be learning it right now, but in present time, for a temporary span of time, this action is going on regularly between five to six. So this kind of temporary present time actions can also be shown by using continuous present tense. Apart from this, certain verbs are there that normally happen in general regularly. in routine but with certain adverbs like always and something like that they are going with continuous present tense or sometimes certain verbs in spite of their being in continuous form suppose ke right now i have a desire to get ice cream so i should not say i'm wanting an ice cream i should say i want an ice cream suppose right now i see a cute baby and i say and i really love this baby so my love is present is continuous right now still i wouldn't say i'm loving this baby i love this baby you see that uh, that tag line with that kfc or something like that i'm loving it it is not actually correct at that time love does not go with continuous present tense it, it goes with simple present tense so there are many verbs that don't go with continuous present tense in spite 
they are in spite of their in spite they are uh, continuous in the present time so this is some tricky usage of continuous present tense sentence formation is something like that subject followed by auxiliary verbs am is or are now you know where to use them then verb comes with ing form that is called as present participle form then object and then the other words as you know subject and object are nouns or pronouns we already discussed it in the earlier videos now the example rekha as it is a singular noun is now the verb with ing singing a bollywood song that is the object and now is what the what that tells you the time adverbial so the whole thing is rekha abhi isi samay a bollywood song ga rahi you can just listen to it this is the usage of continuous present tense isko agar negative banana hai to simply not rakh dijiye rekha is not singing a bollywood song question banana hai is rekha singing a bollywood song agar janna hai ki rekha kya ga rahi hai what is she what is she singing right now so just to know the object you bring the question word from outside that is what put right in the beginning what then comes auxiliary verb just to make it question what is rekha singing now so this is how the questions are made now comes passive voice of the same tense object again same auxiliary verbs are repeated am is or are depends on the noun you or the pronoun that you use as the, as the object so right now it is is so it might not be is right now Uh, here is the passive voice. If it were I, it could have been M. If it were V, it could have been R. So it's it depends. M is or R being it, the new word is to be added over there just to make it passive. It is being. This is what you are supposed to add over there. Being. Then again in the passive voice, work with past participle could also be called as V three form. Then by and subject, so object Bollywood song, as it is singular, is being sung by Rekha Na. Rekha ke dwara abhi ek Bollywood song gaya ja raha hai. So this is what the use of continuous present tense. It is active voice and it's passive voice. Now comes continuous past tense. So slight change is there. in the situation as well as in the formation if the action not now but was going on in the past at a certain time going on chal rahi thi action hui nahi koi koi karya hua nahi but wo chal raha tha it was going on so we can show by using continuous past tense again active voice subject Now instead of any is are here it is was or were. Now you know better where to use was, where to use were. We already discussed in the previous video. Verb with ing just to show its continuous action, object, and then the other words. So the example is I was. As it is I followed by was. The verb is playing. Object is football. and the what that tell you time at this time yesterday to kal isi samay main football khel raha tha football khelne ka kaam chalu tha negative banana hai to i was not playing question banana hai to was i playing agar kuch janna hai to agar time janna hai to when was i playing You bring when right in the beginning question word. So this is the well, uh, the method of making question neg negation remains same with all the tenses. So now no, no need to mention it further on. Passive voice object when was and or where. Then again the same verb that shows continuous action that is being. Then verb with past participle can also be called as V three form. So one of the same thing, then by subject and the other words. So the example is 
फुटबॉल वॉज बीन प्लेड फुटबॉल खेला जा रहा था मेरे द्वारा इसी समय कल फुटबॉल वॉज बीन प्लेड बाई मी एट दिस टाइम तो दिस इज पेंड नाउ कंटिन्यूस प्रेजेंट एज वेल एज कंटिन्यूस पास टेंस now the third tense in the same category continuous it is now future again the usage you can just uh, speculate as if the action will be going on in the future at a certain time present mein action abhi chal rahi hai past mein wo chal rahi thi aur abhi chal rahi hogi so just to show that kind of action you can go for continuous future tense फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैं अभी तो ये वीडियो बना रहा हूं लेकिन कल इसी समय शायद मैं मुंबई के लिए ट्रेवलिंग कर रहा होगा सो द एक्शन दैट विल बी गोइंग ऑन एट अ सर्टेन टाइम इन द फ्यूचर कैन बी शोन बाई यूजिंग कंटिन्यूस फ्यूचर टेंस सो दिस इज वॉट यू द एक्टिव वॉइस ऑफ द कंटिन्यूस फ्यूचर टेंस subject followed by shall or will now one more auxiliary verb will be added that is be shall be or will be then the verb with ing wala verb ka ing wala form present participle form object and the other words example is subject have taken is i and the verb have taken will be i will be i will be traveling this is the whole form of verb of continuous present tense i will be traveling to mumbai at this time tomorrow so this is active voice of continuous future tense friend this tense does not have any passive voice so its passive cannot be made there is no passive voice for continuous future tense so this is all continuous tenses the active voice as well as passive voice now friends uh, another category another situation another time that is now perfect and starting with perfect present so this is a very confusing tense friends the usage is quite unusual sometimes your mother tongue the way you speak your language can help you uh, the usage is something like that if the action is over happened in the past and got completely over become the history history would be called a simple past tense but if the action is over and its effect is still in the present that situation falls in perfect present tense perfect means action is perfected and present means the effect is in the present so it is a combination of this kind of situation say I have taken my breakfast, and if I go somewhere, and they ask me, "Malab, my stomach is already full, and I don't have any desire to go for the breakfast, another uh, amount of," so I would say, "Thank you, I have already had my breakfast." So action of taking breakfast is already over, but it is heavy in my stomach, so I. I am not willing to have it another. So effect of that breakfast is still on me. So this is called as action is over, the effect is on. So this kind of situation goes with perfect present tense. So this is here. This is the structure over here. Subject followed by auxiliary verbs like have or has. i we you or they followed by have he she followed by has singular noun followed by has plural noun followed by have then comes past participle form the verb see friend is a change now yes mind well in active voice and passive voice earlier we had v3 only in the passive voice past participle form the verb now in active voice and passive voice in perfect tenses 
We have past participle form in both the voices, active voice as well as passive voice. So past participle form of the verb that is V3 followed by object and then the other words. He subject has auxiliary verb. Now the other words are fallen over here. As it is adverb, does not have any specific place. So wherever we want to put it emphatically, just put it. So it is put, put between auxiliary verb and main verb. So he has just eaten. So your verb is this only. Has eaten. Eaten is the past participle form of the verb eat. He has just eaten grabs. Unhone abhi abhi angur khaye hai. Angur kha chuke hai. Lekin uska swad, uski effect abhi chalu hai. Toh abhi naye kuch angur khane ki ichcha vagera nahi hai. So he feels the effect. So reason why it's gone for perfect present tense. So passive voice, <coughs> object, again the same auxiliary verb have or has, then one more verb is added over there, that is been, earlier in continuous tense we had been, now this is been, B -W -N. then again V3 as it is by subject and the other words, so we will not change the placement of the other words, we will keep it as it is, now the object right in the beginning, grabs, as grabs is passive, sorry, plural, so will be followed by have. Grabs have just been eaten by him. Abhi abhi unke dwara angur khaye gaye hai. Something like that. This is what perfect present tense. Now comes friend, perfect past tense. Again the usage is very tricky. Difficult to understand. Perfect past tense is very much confused with simple past tense. But there is a thread like difference. Simple past shows the action that happened in the past. Perfect past also shows the action happened in the past. The difference is what? Perfect past. If the action is already perfected before another action happened in the past. So that perfected action will go with perfect past tense. So in a simple language I can say if two actions happen in the past. So the first action that is already over before the another happened can be shown using perfect past tense. And the action that happened after that could be shown by using simple past. So if you have two actions together happen in the past, first is shown using perfect past. Second is shown using simple past. Perfect past action is also called as uh, ancient past, and the simple past action is also is shown is called as recent past. So I can say in a way, if you do not have the reference of second action that happened after the first action, you cannot go for perfect past tense. So it has to have two actions that first happened in the past and the second happened in the past. So without these two sentences, perfect past is normally not possible. So here we have active voice, subject, now instead of have and has, we have had, then V3, past participle form of the verb, object and the other words. Subject we have taken as V, no matter what the Noun of the pronoun is had will go with everything, all the nouns and pronouns. Now my main verb is also have. Look, lunch lena. Lena means have, not eat. Kuch ab lete ho, khate ho, you should say I have it. I will not drink tea, I will have tea. So lunch is to have. So my main verb is also have. And I have to put V3 of the same verb have, that is also what had. So this had is auxiliary verb, this is the main verb V3 form. This is how two had can be written together. So we had had our lunch and lunch liya ja chuka da, guest aane se pehle. So guest ke aane ka kaam baad mein hua, lunch ke lene ka kaam pehla. 
the arrival of the guests happened later and having of the lunch happened before that. So that first action is shown using perfect past that is ancient past and after that another action happened in the past that is arriving of the guest that is written in simple past with only V2 form the verb. Can understand that. So this is you can also call it adverbial other words. So this is what we are concerned with. We had had our lunch. That is perfect past tense. Now it's passive voice. Object. Again had auxiliary verb. That been is added. V3 of the main verb that is also had. Now in this situation as we have the main verb have. By subject and the other words. So the whole thing is our lunch had been and then the V3 of the main verb again had our lunch had been had. Now obviously our lunch is always had by us. So no need to mention it. So if you don't write by us, we'll do it. Subject is not so important. It is understood. It can be avoided. So our lunch had been had before the guest arrived. So this is perfect past tense. Now this is the third perfect future. See this is again a very unusual usage. You, this is dealing with assumption as it is future. You assume a certain action will have been over by a certain time in the future. Abhi action hone wali nahi hai. फ्यूचर में चालू भी नहीं होगी कोई पर्टिकुलर टाइम पे खत्म हो हो गई होगी हो चुकी होगी खत्म हो चुकी होगी ऐसा हम एज्यूम करते हैं वी एज्यूम दैट एन एक्शन वुड हैव बीन ओवर एट अ सर्टेन टाइम इन द फ्यूचर सो दिस काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन कैन बी शोन बाय यूजिंग परफेक्ट फ्यूचर टेंस यहां पे एक्टिव वॉइस है सब्जेक्ट फॉलोड बाय शैल और विल दिस इज वन ऑक्सिलरी we have another auxiliary have and then the main verb with v3 form object and the rest of the words so it's a very long verb, verb form example is we as subject will first auxiliary have another auxiliary main verb is pay it is in the v3 form it is paid so we will have paid the gas bill by tomorrow if this by is not the by that shows the action is happened by somebody. This by shows the, the range of the time. So it's a different usage of the preposition. So action is assumed to be perfected, to be performed by a certain time in the future. This is the usage of perfect future tense. Passive voice, object, shall, will, obviously have. Again one more auxiliary verb will be added that is been. So it's a very long verb. So please try to remember it. Shall, will, have, been, then V3. Past participle form by and subject. The guest bill will have been paid. Obviously, our bill is paid by us. So, not to mention it, you don't write it even, it will do. By us, by tomorrow. This by is different, this by is different. This by means dwara, this by us samay tak. So, guest bill kal tak pay ho chuka hoga. This is what the meaning of perfect future tense. So this is all perfect tenses friends. And up to this tenses we have passive voice only. Now the next category is perfect continuous tense. That will be having active voice but will not be having any passive voice. So let's go for it. <coughs> now friends the last Category of the tense. 
perfect perfect continuous tenses and here it is present perfect continuous present tense usage is very unusual again if the action happened in the past malab started in the past and is still going on to the present time and might be going on again in the future so that kind of situation can be shown by using perfect continuous present tense action starting is perfected malab its starting is already done but action is still continued in the present so this kind of mixture is called as perfect continuous present tense for example uh, my father wo apna job start kiya koi jagah pe suppose ke wo koi bank mein job kar raha hai to wo jab jawan the tab start kiya tha abhi bhi kar raha hai aur shayad abhi retire nahi honge to karne wale hai so i can say my father has been working with sbi since 25 years sorry for the last 25 years or since i can say 19 uh, 20, uh, 2000 so 1995 or something like that so 95 mein action started and is still going on it might be going on until he gets retired so this situation is called as perfect continuous present tense so here we have the active voice it is called only active voice no no perfect continuous tenses having got their uh, passive voices so only active voice subject have or has in present tense been then verb with ing but the past present participle for the verb object and and a, a very important thing this tense will definitely go with a time headed with since or for if you want to show the duration of time can go for for if you show the time starting from a certain point you can go for since is the difference between the use of since and for so here the example people subject have taken have as it is plural been suffering no people have been suffering from short supply of water pani nahi aa raha hai wo suffer kar rahe hain for 3 months before 3 months the action started is still going on suffering 3 mahine se 3 mahine pehle shuru hua aur bhi chalu hai so it is the use of perfect continuous present tense agar aapko point of time batana hai ki bhai i exactly remember ki march 29 se pani ki supply kam ho gayi hai so you can just go for since since march 29 so it is point of time it is duration of time You go for four. We have go for since. So the whole thing is, people have been suffering from short supply of water for three months or since March 29. लोग तीन महीने से पानी की जो कम सप्लाई है उसकी समस्या का सामना कर रहे हैं. Something like that. So this is present tense. थोड़ा बहुत ही changes करना है. अगर हम past tense में जाते हैं, तो This is past tense. उसमें एक ही चेंजेस करना है के बदले यू टू गो फॉर हैड यहां पर भी आपको करना है had. तो the action started in the past at a certain time, carried on to a certain time in the past, and then over and now the new action is going on. So the action which was not going on in the past, which did not happen in the past. but action continued for a certain duration in the past so the duration of the action can be shown using perfect continuous past tense so we 9 baje maine homework karna start kiya tha 12 baje tak kiya abhi main khel raha hu to 9 baje se main apna homework kar raha tha kar raha tha abhi main khel raha hu i have been doing my homework since 9 o'clock in the morning now i'm playing So that shows the duration of the action in the past. So here we have the <coughs> sentence structure. Subject now comes had been with ing object again the same thing since or for in time. 
पीपल हैड बीन सफरिंग मतलब अब अब सफर नहीं कर रहे अब सफरिंग खत्म हो चुका है लेकिन वो सफर किए फॉर ड्यूरेशन ऑफ टाइम फॉर थ्री मंथ्स दैट इज शोन ओवर देयर हैड बीन सफरिंग फ्रॉम शॉर्ट सप्लाई ऑफ वाटर फॉर थ्री मंथ्स और सिंस मार्च ट्वेंटी नाइन तो दिस इज परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस पास टेंस एंड द लास्ट वन इज फ्यूचर उसका थोड़ा डिफरेंस रहेगा शेल और विल उसके साथ रहेगा so यहां पर भी सेम very unusual certain teachers even don't believe such kind of tense is existing but it is existing at a certain time the future action might be started and will be carried on to a certain time in the future and might be carried on even further on so you want to show if the action you if you want to show the action hap, will be happening in the future for a certain duration you want to show the duration of action in the future starting from a certain point and carried on to a certain point or might be carried on further in the future can be shown by using the hai the perfect continuous future tense hum log ghumne gaye honge main ready ho chuka honga subah subah aur tum taiyar hone hai tum taiyar hone mein time laga hogi aur ek ghante se main tumhari wait kar raha honga so this is what the wait will be started at a certain time in the future will be carried on for one hour and might be carried on even further so that one hour duration in the future can be shown by using perfect continuous future tense so log abhi suffer karna start nahi kiya hai lekin at a certain time <coughs> suffer karna start karenge aur karte rahenge at a certain time in the future duration subject shall or will have been verb with ing this is a very long verb to be remembered object then since and for all time people will have been suffering suffer kar rahe honge from short supply of water for 3 months 3 mahine se suffer kar rahe honge abhi suffering start nahi hua will be started and will be carried on up to a certain time in the future so this is what perfect continuous future tense and all these tenses have no passive voice so here friends we end the basics the concept structures active passive voice and all the related concerns regarding the tense and voice so only thing is left now we'll go for practicing recognizing voice as well as changing active voice to passive and passive voice to active in the next video so thank you very much for joining me if you like my video please share it comment upon it and subscribe my channel thank you very much